So Daniel, uh, I think we wanted to address a couple of things before we address the quite literal elephant in the room. Yeah. Uh, so we want to do my thing first and then get to your thing, right? I think my thing, because yours is going to take a bit, won't it? So we want to touch on your thing yeah. first. Okay, so for those of you listening through an mm -hmm. audio forum, uh, I'm sure you can feel what's going on in this room <laughs> right now. It's uh, there, There's a palpable <laughs> level of, uh, of something going on in here. And that something yeah. happens to be Daniel uh, dressed up as the ancient Greek philosopher Socrates. Socrates, yes. Mm -hmm. um, now, for our listeners only, uh, what you're also missing is me adorned within my throne of awards, mm -hmm. my absolute uh, fortress well, there's of a accolades. Lot, there's a lot of elephants currently. There's so we're, a lot. We're yeah. working our way we're, through We're in them. the Sahara right now, yeah. we're surrounded by elephants. So I've got all of my uh, filmmaking awards and mm -hmm. accolades here. You should go to YouTube, check those out. And I'll drop a couple of them. So you can see Danny's nipple. So that you can see my nip. Which, yeah, if there's ever been a reason yeah. to get on YouTube, it's it's because Danny now has at least one full nipple out. Yeah. Um. So the other week, our mm. Twitter page um, received a DM. Uh, As a Twitter page does. Yeah. We're like, oh, yeah, guys, hit us with your questions. You know, like, like you know, be nice. Yeah, or like, stop hitting us with your questions, yeah, but do be nice, please. <laughs> yeah. Um. We received a DM to the pod that said... Dear Daniel, please shut the fuck up. Mm -hmm. Your opinions hold as much weight as a neckbeard who lives in his mother's basement, jerking it with to chicks with dicks, mm -hmm. because that is essentially the anime you watch. If you disagree, you can catch these hands. Nice podcast, though, overall. Quite entertaining. So that's one of mine. I would like to, like, to, like, to, like, to, like to get out ahead of that, and that is almost definitely one of mine. I like that they like the podcast, though, at oh, least. Oh, yeah. And by they, I mean you, because seemingly, you know, could you imagine, they watch it. Could you imagine like watching a podcast and you're like, like seething, yeah. seething rage towards one of the like podcast co-hosts yeah. and you're just like, you know what? I can, I can ride this out. I can yeah. ride this out because uh, apparently he likes me to a degree where he's <laughs> yeah. able to deal with a, a neck beard jerking it to food a porn. He must like something I do. I'm 50% of the podcast, yeah. right? Like I can't imagine it's just you talking and uh, then white noise yeah, as he like, like, like unplugs the headphone jack. I was going to say just like, like visceral rage, yeah. just like blacking out every word <laughs> yeah, you say. Like, yeah. Um, but so that doesn't really answer why I'm dressed as Socrates. No, it doesn't. Um, so I asked our editor and the person our, who runs our uh twitter page stank lovely man legal lovely, name stank yeah legal name uh stank parents Jones. did not love him no came out reeking yeah um but I feel like most babies probably I do know, i feel like that's fair i feel like high too high standards i feel like 30 percent of women rip rip the they they, they get the rip <laughs> during you know you never do what this are you talking about oh yeah like most women not most women but like a fair amount of women uh -huh. there's not a lot of space between the, the two oh. the two exits oh i hate so, this so on, I the, hate this. on the way out <laughs> oh no a little fresh flesh oh. bridge you, get, you go from two holes wow. to one hole oh whoa yeah. whoa yeah yeah, so most Ugh. babies probably come out like not smelling great. Oh my god, I'm like clenching my vagina and I, I don't know. even have one. Yeah, <laughs> like, and sometimes wow. they'll do a thing called a husband stitch where they make it tighter. I know than about it the was. husband stitch. Why do you know about the husband stitch there's and not the rest a, of there's it? There's a short story I read okay. called the uh, the green ribbon or whatever, and it's all about the husband stitch. And it's this woman who has like a green ribbon around her neck, and if it comes off. The twist is her head falls off I've and her husband keeps being like, I want to, I want to take off your ribbon. And she's like, don't, that's the one thing you can't do. Yeah. And I don't, I shouldn't have to tell you why. It's just the one thing I don't want you to do. And it's like, let me add that ribbon though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Give me the ribbon. And then he takes it off and she's like, look what you've done to me. Yeah. I've I've also read that story. Yeah. Was that like a mandated in middle school type thing? I took Engendering Modernity, which was about like female authors in like the 18th century. Oh, so so. Apparently, apparently my high school was just more woke or something. Look how I'm dressed, Nick. What about this is what about this is allying yourself with anybody? I'm clearly illiterate here. I oh, oh I you, am a learned are, scholar. Uh, if we're being entirely real, you're like, do I have to bring my own sheet? And I was like, I don't own white sheets. Yeah, I brought my sheet. Only a learned scholar would have his own sheet. I mean, sheet a to learned bring. scholar also wouldn't be wearing khakis and boots what is your problem i don't know that? are you trying are you like are you socrates by morning yeah. like construction worker by night what's I going on i have an event here? to go to at night oh and yeah, i have yeah. to be socrates for this well you think they will wear <laughs> listen they were free balling yeah if you really wanted to be a a, a philosopher i'm sitting on your chair so you're welcome i'm not free balling i've been fully naked on that chair many times <laughs> oh oh you oh you never you never oh don't don't act all high learning and a lot of horrible You've facts never, right you never now. been like oh shit i forgot to like send an email but you're already naked in bed <laughs> no so i you haven't have to, you have to sit down in your gamer chair 
click, click, click. I, I've never received an email so pressing. I can't scramble together a pair the of pants. The difference between you and me, Danny. So. When people ask me to do something, I get on top yeah. of it. I don't care if my scrot's sitting on my uh, $500 chair. I'll rub my scrot on it. If I ever it. want you on top of something, make sure your scrot is not rubbing against it. Objectively, everything I've ever sat on, my <laughs> scrot has been on top uh, of. Fuck, anyway, he's up. Listen, we got a lot of cold opens to get oh through. My Let's God, this move. In, I, I hate to break it to you guys, but this entire fucking episode is going to be cold opens. It's going to be a frozen episode. Which is so annoying because there's also so much anime to talk about. There's a lot to talk about. But so anyway, I asked Stank, um, because I love hate mail like this that's so like hyper specific. Yeah. If your hate mail is funny, I'm down for it. Absolutely. Like it'll never hurt me. I appreciate it. It's mm. when people are like, it's when people just say like, Danny's got wig arms that I'm like, what do you mean? What do you mean? Hello? <laughs> like, yeah. Um, the one word hate mail is what gets me. Mm -hmm. But uh, so I asked Stank, I was like, I want to know specifically what opinions this guy disliked. Mm -hmm. So I gave Stank uh, some words to tell him. He said, thank you for contacting Otaku's anonymous support. We're sorry to hear you're disappointed with some of Danny's claims. Which claims specifically caused you ire? Mm -hmm. He goes, 99% of them. Man's watched like three anime and only a handful of episodes, but speaks like he's fucking Socrates. Mm -hmm. Because I think <laughs> when I watch your video going general Iro, more like yeah. general... I want him in my asshole. Good. I'm like this guy. Yeah. Philosophical. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like, <laughs> I yeah. know. I didn't know I was coming in with such hot, like philosophical opinions. Yeah. But I do like that. He goes 99% of my opinions. But suck. 1%. I want to know the 1% he likes. Maybe he also doesn't like Kratos. He I was, was like, you know what? <laughs> God of War has lost the step, and I think Danny's the only person brave enough to say it. I know. I like the idea that he's like, this dude doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about, but Attack on Titan's pacing do be slow. Yeah, he's like, you know yeah. what? That Fortnite RPG wasn't as good as people <laughs> yeah, like, needlessly hyped up. Yeah. So um, so I thought I'd dress the part. Uh, yeah. I hope you're watching. Fuck you, too. <laughs> so, so if you, so if you are listening, you've ever been curious about what Danny's nipples look like. Well, mm -hmm. then here you go. I think it's the third time we've showed Danny, Danny's nipples on this podcast, and I, Probably. I've never showed mine. Maybe episode 100. No, I, I, can't, I can't. I brought a second toga. That's if you actually <laughs> did, I would be wearing one yeah. right beside you. So, and then Danny also brought the myriad of trophies he brought. Uh, he won. They gave you two. Why did they give you two? I, I don't even want to call them plaques. They are mostly cardboard. What, these certificates. Mm. Certificates of authenticity of my awards. So, uh, oh, yeah. Of so course. I have yes. Yeah, so I have because, one because the Trinity Film Festival awards are so often fake. <laughs> yeah, so so just, they're very frequently yeah, forged. Of course. Um, well, because you know what happened? Uh, you were discrediting the authenticity of my Muskogee award. Mm -hmm. So I was like, I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need this shit in writing. And you got it's not gonna buy it. And you, you. Do have yeah. it in writing. Boy, did I. So I have, for our listeners, I have a glass obelisk that says Best Picture, Trinity Film Festival. Isn't an obelisk a snake? No. Basilisk. Yeah. Nailed it. An obelisk, I don't even, I, I certainly didn't use the word right. Oh yeah, my God, I don't, my throne is collapsing on me. <laughs> oh, no, you're, the cardboard cutout that comes out of oh, her no. back to hold them up is, is failing you. Oh. My own folly. Yeah, exactly. Foiled by my own riches. This one is literally like coming out of the frame. Yeah. So I have uh, my glass obelisk. I have my Muskogee award. I have um, a plaque that says best cinematography mm -hmm. and then two <laughs> certificates of authenticity for each. Wow. You yeah. know what? Um, I feel like the certificate of authenticity wouldn't be hard to fake. It is just a piece of paper. I know. I feel like the glass thing significantly yeah, harder to alone fake. is like impressive enough. And yeah. then coming in with like this printout, like Be word like, XL. Look, mom, mom says it's real. Mom, yeah. like, like, I, don't, yeah. I don't fucking give a shit. Yeah, this one's from Trinity and this one's from mom. Yeah. Like, and you're, you're like also at the same time, if you went through the effort of carving out a glass statue for yourself, yeah. fuck it. You won the yeah, Trinity I won, film I won festival. something. Who yeah. cares? Yeah, yeah. Like you won biggest loser of the week. Yeah. Except unless of course we're talking about my cold open material which is roughly anime related wow. uh, because the biggest loser of the week is a YouTuber by the name of Tensei YouTube. Nick that was so impressive. Nick is that a, transition was incredible. I'm really good at segues. Yeah. Uh, I don't write scripts, so my brain is a script. That's, Please. Yeah. <laughs> Please. <laughs> oh my God, that reminds me. We have another <laughs> thing to talk oh, about in the cold open. I like how me begging for mercy is what reminded you because I know what you're talking about. We spent about. two goddamn hours screaming for mercy two Pleading. nights ago. 
Go on with your the so, tensei whatever. So uh, Nick has recently been embroiled in not necessarily a controversy. Uh, at, at least, <laughs> at least not for me. At least it's not a controversy. Um, but a lawsuit, uh, some might say. Yeah, it's, <laughs> yeah. it's a definite possible lawsuit. Yeah. Uh, so I make I make content on YouTube. I do I do silly little YouTube videos. Uh, and I have two pages. One is NC Hammer twenty three, where we talk Naruto and Borto. The other is Weeb Commander, where we talk literally anything else. And we being you, just to let people know, yeah. as we are currently on a two man no, thing. No, what I'm yeah. talking is the multiple personalities in my head. Got you, got yeah. you, got you. I every new page is a new personality. Right. Being like, are you <laughs> are you winning, son? And I'm like, I don't know quite yet. I believe you. Yeah. And so I got a, a Discord DM. Somebody was like, Hey, man, there's a Spanish YouTuber who's plagiarizing everybody's YouTube videos, putting them in Spanish. Mm -hmm. A bunch of them are yours. And I'm like, sick. Go <laughs> yeah. to the page. And I'm like, well, he only sends me one. And I'm like, okay, this, I can, I can read, speak, and, and write Spanish. So I'm like, this is absolutely my video bar for bar. The video's the same length as mine, posted mm -hmm. two weeks after mine. Dude's just dubbing my shit. Yeah. Um, dubbing it slightly changing the b-roll so like youtube doesn't pick up on it yeah. you know because he's a no-face youtuber um and i'm like all right flag it send it yeah. and then i'm like wait as i'm like about to leave his page i'm like wait yeah what else i'm like that that video looks familiar and i had just done a, a hand seals video and he hadn't copied this for me but there's another youtuber by the name of diggo knight who had done a hand seals video like why they disappeared from naruto mm -hmm. and he was like this is I was like, this is the exact same thing. Like, same down to a T, like five seconds. Yeah. Uh, posted two weeks after Diggo Night. So I, I emailed Diggo Night. I'm like, this guy copied your video. He flags it. I get an email. Oh, crazy. I get an email yeah. from this guy. Yeah. And he's like, I don't want problems. Yeah, he goes, please stop. Uh, yeah, he was like, he was like, <laughs> I, I was like, I was like, I don't, he was like, I, I'm sorry yeah. I took your site to my video. And I was like, all right, admit to me every other video you've stolen. Because I already went through his videos. I yeah. knew exactly every single, I was like, that got posted two weeks after mine. It's the exact same length. Went through, listened to all the videos. Yeah. I should have been working. Right. I'm behind on videos because of this. Like, this is I, technically working. You've made some views out of it. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. my biggest video in months. But, like, yeah. I, I should have been working, should have been banging out anime content. Uh, instead, I'm watching this man, 300K subscribers, mind you. Yeah. Like, a very that, legitimate YouTube page. Well, that's the big thing is that he, like, the videos he plagiarized of yours have, like, 500,000 views? A million like, collective. Yeah. Yeah. Tons of views yeah. and tons of subscribers. Which on YouTube, for those of you who don't know, is, I mean, it depends where you are regionally. Uh, Lots he of money. Yeah, it's <laughs> yeah. $10,000 to yeah. me if I do a million views. Uh, to him, he says it's less, but it's still at least five. Yeah. Um, like thousands of dollars we're talking here. And I'm not the only person he's stolen from. Yeah. Um, and so I go through his page and I'm like, there's seven YouTube videos here that I've seen, that yeah. I that I went through that are mine yeah bar for bar like he took a couple of list videos where i was like the black clover captains explained right right uh and he would just like he wouldn't like rank them yeah like he was like just like all of the, he was like all of the captains and their powers and so he gotcha. like would change like where they place but all of the same talking points just in spanish yeah so i'm i'm flagging a couple of his videos and i'm like fuck this i'm making a video and i get an email and the kid's like please <laughs> this means he's like he's like i don't think you realize how much this means to me uh huh. I don't give a fuck. I don't think you realize how much your content means to me. Yeah. When I get paid for it. Yeah. yeah. He was like, he was like, I, he was like, it's not just, it's not just the man behind the camera. I'm like, you have <laughs> three hundred thousand. Listen, it was, yeah. it was some nine hundred subscriber YouTuber just like, like vaguely copying my yeah. shit. I'd be like, all right, man. Like, listen, that's fine. You have a million of my fucking views. Yeah. Like. And so, like, I'm like, I, yeah, dude, like, I'm like, oh, yeah, it's totally fine, man. Like, as I'm, like, like taking screenshots of everything, yeah. downloading all of his videos, like, per posterity, um, and I'm, I'm sending all this to da Cody, and we're making a video, and I'm just like, oh, we're going to ether him, you know? Yeah. yeah. Um, so, currently, we made the video, um, and the moral of the story is I'm not going to sue him for the money. I don't give a shit. Uh, believe it or not, there's not that much money. Uh -huh. to me wow it, it's 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 like like it's just incredible not, it's not <laughs> worth it yeah you know um and so i'm just gonna be like you know like he privated all the videos he's no longer profiting off me as nice. far as i know yeah. but i'm i just i just sent a hundred thousand people at him like yeah, there's yeah. a video with a hundred thousand people he's been deleting comments all day yeah. viciously deleting comments Jeez. like every it's just all english comments and he's just yeah just yeah. deleting all of, um, it's a good way to filter it out oh yeah. of course yeah i mean well, it's like it's like I saw you made a, a few TikToks on it too. Yeah. And the reason like 
Because I, at first, when I heard, like, the first few sentences of, like, this story, I was like, oh, geez, what, like, small time, like, kid in his basement is Nick coming for the throat Because I, I do have a, I do have a, a <laughs> he little. coming with a people's elbow. I do have like, a, I have a people's elbow for anybody who wants to catch it, honestly. You cross yeah, me, I'm coming for the neck. I, I was just ready for this to be, like, a middle schooler with 13 <laughs> subscribers, and you're like, you better lawyer up, bitch! <laughs> like, ether you! But no, he, like, yeah, he's got millions of views, like yeah. that hundreds of thousands of subs subscribers and i saw people commenting on your tiktoks and being like oh like naruto's been over for years you think it's that crazy someone jeez i'm sorry you, you think it's that crazy that somebody like had similar ideas to you but it's literally your script like it's he also genuinely just translated yeah. your script your points beat for beat mm -hmm. like it's just like simply plagiarism also none of it is about naruto not yeah, every yeah. single video he copied was either non Naruto videos from mm -hmm. NZ Hammer or yeah. things from Weeb Commander. Yeah. So like, it's like ongoing, a bunch of ongoing stuff. Like he like, like calculations only I've done. Yeah. Like the one I talk about in the video is that I talk about the domain expansion that Gojo has, which is infinite void. And there's this moment in the, the Shibuya incident where he opens his domain expansion for 0.2 seconds. Oh, yeah. Fills everybody around him with like brain with six months of information. Mm -hmm. And I was like, it would be cool if I like did how many years of information that is in a second. Nobody mm -hmm. else done that. Yeah, like yeah. Nobody nobody else has like like gone through that because nobody else has been curious about yeah, it. Yeah. I'm watching this video right there. Up there. Like, yeah, like yeah. every it was like like every año, like uh, there's like two and a half años like per segundo uh, de información. And I'm like, okay, like that's hey? Yeah, K. Yeah. K. Um, yeah. K. What? Yeah. And so I'm like, he's literally, he's stealing my fucking shit. And yeah, so yeah. I, he's like, I, uh, I, I just don't. You need to understand. Like, this is like, I'm feeding my family off these views. And I was like, okay. Uh, clearly, you love anime. Clearly, yeah. you have an audience. Make just anime content. Write a fucking script. Yeah. Like, it's not hard. Yeah. Like, I, like, I just like, it's so easy to not steal somebody's he, content. It's hard to. The hardest part is mm. starting. Yeah. Like, he has the following. You yeah. know what I mean? And I also saw people commenting being like you know oh he just like ran a good scam like you know he like he worked smarter not harder yeah and i also can appreciate that mm -hmm. like great scam objectively great, great job yeah great play mm -hmm. but with every great scam i also feel like it's like like anytime i've like stolen something which mm -hmm. i haven't um but oh anytime, i've stolen many things <laughs> I, oh any, my god target has a literal tar like, target <laughs> is named after the target they have on my back anytime i've like done anything dubious i've been like you know what if i get away with this rad but if i get caught makes sense yeah. i i committed a thing that deserves to be caught of course so it's like yeah like fuck this guy like yeah he was running like a smart scam but you have to know that if you get caught, the dude's not going to be like, hey, like, that's smart of you. You stole my stuff and yeah, dubbed it. Like, good job. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, like, what? And he was like, I'm willing to show you my analytics. I'll send you the money. And I was like, I don't fucking, I don't need your money. I just don't yeah. take my content. Yeah. And so I've, I've contacted all the people he stole from, like the Amagi, Digo yeah. Knight, uh, Anime Balls Deep. And he's going to get, he's going to get copyright striked into the ground. Yeah. And, you know, I will, I, and, and this certainly isn't going to help him. The story will probably be picked up by bigger YouTubers because the video is doing well, which will also definitely not help him because God knows that people like Penguin and like, like Charlie and Moist, like Moist Critical, he's got so many fucking names. Mm. Uh, Ludwig, all of them yeah. are always looking for things to react to. Uh, we've been, we've been DMing them, you know, yeah. we've been like, you know, here's, here's a little something because they've been talking about it. Uh, but yeah, and so moral of the story, uh, I'm not going to sue with this man. Uh, I'm not going to try and end his page. I mean, I am kind of going to try and end his page, but like at the end of the day, we're making all of my content accessible to all languages now. Yeah. Uh, that's like the biggest thing coming out of this is like, I'm going to try and get my content in Spanish, Hindi, Bengali, Portuguese, um, Japanese, and Chinese. Yeah. That's and you're like, not, like, you're not trying to end his page. You're trying to just make it like original yeah you know what i mean if he like, his own content it, go fucking wild. yeah like yeah. it does it's not about like more anime competition it's that he's stealing people's shit like yeah. that's wild so that's that's everything we had about my my current beef um now the reason that daniel saying please god uh earlier triggered <laughs> triggered me uh is because me yeah, and we daniel, did a lot of begging this tuesday yeah me and daniel uh went through a little thing known as trauma bonding recently yeah. um we saw fast x we did see fast x uh, which was incredible mind you like best i'm gonna say it was the best fast and furious movie since seven uh but then again i think seven can i do it can i do a little can i do yeah, a thing right now yeah, for, the, whatever. For, the, for the fast heads out sure. there yeah, um, yeah for the for the furiosos yeah for the furiosos yeah. for family yeah, yeah. yeah. For, for a family exactly uh best like power ranking off the neck right now too fast too furious uh tokyo drift mm. uh 
seven, five, the original, uh, four, six. Mm. Oh wait, no, no, it's you, I, I'm we're to, so deep into it, and Fast X hasn't even shown. Well, up that's yet. that's why. Are that's we going lowest to top? Lo, no, highest, highest down. Okay, so I you got fa- too fast, too furious, Tokyo Drift. Drift. Seven, and then I think Fast X. I think it's four. That's so low. That's out of <laughs> uh, out of how many movies? Out of ten. Out of eleven. Hobbs and Shaw, motherfucker. Oh, do you count that? Yeah, it's number five. Okay. I'm Black Superman, baby. <laughs> it's incredible. It's a really good movie. So okay. yeah, Fast X, wild. But me and Danny decided to watch Fast X in a in a non conventional means. Danny, uh, Danny somehow has lived in L.A. for all of like seven months, and is somehow more connected than I am. Uh, I have one connection that Nick. <laughs> doesn't even want anymore I don't. after this if, experience if we're being so, entirely real so I, know. I got invited to uh the 4dx premiere of fast x uh like two days before the movie comes out yeah which was exciting like you know it's a, a nice little like i get to go to a movie early yeah it's, and uh, nick doesn't it's a thing nick doesn't have that i have it was it which was is the best and he part. invited me it was a pity invite. yeah and i invited nick yeah. um and so we go and it's one of those theaters i went to the D uh one of this i think mm. i talked about it but we go to the theaters and it's one of those where it's like a ride. And every time I tell people about it, they're like, oh, like your individual seat shakes a little bit. Like it rumbles no. in some mist. That's Untrue. what I thought. That's what I thought I for know. a long time. I know. I, pre- I tried preparing you and Daniel. I tried telling everybody I've ever spoken to about this. They're never ready. This, these fucking seats toss your ass yeah they they have little like bars do you feel the bar in the back that mm-hmm. would punch you every in now the and back then? of the fucking in head? the back of that my hair was not only tangled like i had just gotten railed like it was <laughs> yeah. like i i was literally like shook it yeah i was i like lightly concussed coming out of this fucking movie nick is sitting next to me like he's got fucking hollow bones just like shaking the whole time i'm fucking i have popcorn in one hand <laughs> and a bottle of water in the other and i am literally living yeah. through the mexico <laughs> city earthquake of like an 8.9 trying to stabilize like i'm a fucking like holding a camera the first the first car chase nick's got popcorn flying everywhere they're splashing through water we're getting splashed in real life nick leans over to me and he's like can i can i turn this down and i'm like no there's no option absolutely there's no option to be like hey um i i didn't really like imagine like your elderly grandma yeah, imagine like, you bring a pregnant person yeah, in like, like yeah. they're like oh, i want to go watch a movie with yeah. my grandson and they just get fucking tossed dude if you go into a 4dx movie pregnant your baby is coming out of liquid you're having the baby yeah like you're like <laughs> you were born to dom toretto like, yeah like you are now little b it's so violent it literally like a car chase will start and <laughs> And, You'll hear a collective and, like groan yeah. from the audience because they're like gripping their seat, being like, yeah. "No!" And you like you are out of the seat by the end, like you are slumped down. Yeah, and there will be lulls where there are conversations. The second someone gets into a car, you like your ass is clutched. You're just fucking bouncing like it's a country it's so road. Funny. They're just anytime, anytime. Yeah, there's two people sitting in a car. You're just you're just bouncing. The poor woman sits next to me. Yeah, got a she got a see. I have a, a water bottle. She yeah. got like a sprite in a in a like a cup. Yeah. Yeah. And she just fucking explodes yeah. the sprite all over herself. Like, like she's like trying to take a sip. Little did she know there's a rocket about to hit the fucking <laughs> wall. Just done a fool's move. Every, an absolute amateur's move. Every time I took a sip, I was terrified because I was like, no. I don't know if Dom Trotter is about to get punched, and I am yeah, too. You can't. You have to. You have to gauge it. That's that's where like the amateurs are separated from the veterans. Because yeah. I like would wait out of action scene and then I'm like, yeah. like just sucking down my Sprite. Yeah, it's like I just <laughs> shove as much popcorn in my mouth as possible. And if you think like the popcorn, like carnage after a regular movie is bad, you should have seen this one. Yeah. It was everywhere. Dude, that girl sitting next to you couldn't walk after the film. They had to wheel her out. I couldn't walk. Yeah. I felt like I had just like been passed through like blacked.com. Yeah, it feels like you are like going through birth a second time. It was insane. Yeah. I'm getting a FaceTime. That's nothing. Okay. It's not your vibe. No. Who is it? My friend Rhiannon. Pick it up. I don't want to pick it up. <laughs> Should okay. I pick it up? No, don't pick it up. <laughs> um, so where were we? Fast X. Terrifying. I haven't seen any of the other movies before. So Danny didn't like it. it like, here's the thing. Here's what's weird about it, right? It opens. Here's how the movie opens. Spoilers for the opening of the film. It's just Fast Five. It opens and it's a barbecue with La Familia. Uh-huh. And this, it's been this a long yeah, that time. plays a bit. 
<laughs> they played a slow down version. They played the piano. They're like, still bridge hammering that song. It's it's a barbecue with La Familia, uh, La Abuelita is there, who you have never seen Just before. Just introduced apparently. her like, this is Dom's grandmother. Yeah. And I'm like, Dom's 50? Yeah, Dom's grandmother, who's like 15 years older than also, him. Also, they tried to shoehorn in Han being 39. The <laughs> yeah. actor's like 55. Han's on Tinder, and it says like he's 39. <laughs> the actor's like mid 50s yeah as yeah. han yeah anyway but it's so it's this barbecue they do the they're all drinking a corona they do like to family uh -huh. and they all you know tink and then dom goes into his shed looks at his shrine to paul walker mm -hmm. like it splashes one for the boys who exactly, could make yeah. it uh and hey, i'm just Paul's, sitting, he's still alive and it, yeah he's in just that watching universe, the kids yeah yeah How he's fucking just, dare you. just watching the kids yeah just gave it up yeah um all that's happening and i'm just sitting there like how does every single one of these not start this way? Like, do they? If you asked me, still having never seen any of them, if you asked me, like, right fast 11, <laughs> open it. How does it open? This barbecue. is what I would say. Barbecue, La Familia, Paul Walker, Walker tribute. Yeah. Splash went out for the boys who couldn't make it. And then, oh, we scorned somebody a couple of episodes, yeah. a couple of movies back who's now coming for our ass. Do all of these start this way? This was the most, like, by the numbers beginning I could ever think of. So they don't always start with a barbecue, but everyone since seven has uh -huh. started with, like, Dom being like, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like like, can you imagine your friend just moving somewhere and uh, you build a shrine yeah. and you're like, I'll never forget. Oh, call no, him. Yeah, <laughs> just fucking call. reach out, you weirdo. Yeah, like, <laughs> or just be like, yeah, I'd be like, if you moved back to Connecticut and I just like changed all of the like the Naruto yeah, shoot like, pictures of us. I would love. I miss him. I would love for them to bring back like a Paul Walker, like CGI, like him back. And he comes into that shrine and he's like. What, what is fuck? this? <laughs> what is this? You never once reached out. You know how many times I've called you? You named your son <laughs> yeah. after me? Yeah. Like, Why wouldn't you tell me this? It's so funny. It's so, it's so, is it so doesn't make sense if he's not dead in canon. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? Because they're just like, this is, because like they're best friends in the yeah. universe, but that's all we're going to talk about. It's yeah, yeah. Good. Anyway, it's not it's worth keep going. Jason Momoa's best role, maybe ever. Jason fun. Momoa is great. He's like one of the best villains I've seen He's in so like a convincing. bit. Yeah, yeah, like really fun. Yeah, like very fun. Yeah. Also, got a little thick for the role. Got he, a, he is thick. He's he got, chunkier. He got a yeah, chunky for the role. I like it. Ah, he reminds good. me of David from Schitt's Creek in terms of personality. You ever yes. seen Schitt's Creek? Yes. That's that's the personality. Uh, the way I thought it was it was Jonathan Van Ness, but evil. Yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah, that, yeah was like, that was like, it's like, Yas Queen, yeah. you're dead. And it was very like, Yas Queen, you're dead. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it, was, it was very interesting. So we're going to talk about anime now. Um, that's the longest cold opening I think we've ever recorded. But you know what? That's fine because we had a lot to coldly open uh, this week. Nice. So if we're being entirely real, there is a lot of things that I want to talk about um, because not only did we not talk about Star Wars Visions last week, but right. you also had homework, which you finished. Yes. Congratulations. Yes. Um, and Danny did record his reactions to, I'm yeah. assuming, two episodes at a time. Yes, yes, So it's yes. like six episodes yeah, of Angel so Beats. every day this week, I have been watching Angel Beats, mm -hmm. devoting four hours to Angel Beats. Yeah. I wake up, Angel Beats, go to sleep, repeat. Angel Beats. Yeah. So can I get your book report now? Yes. I, like, I, I literally, like, I cannot wait. Yeah. I'm the, most, the part I'm most excited about every single week is the cold open. Yeah. But this is the thing I'm second most oh, excited yeah? about. Yeah. Angel Beats? Uh-huh. Fucking nonsense. You did oh, not yeah. prepare me for this show. I thought, I looked at like one poster of it. I thought it was going to be about like a lesbian band that plays in coffee shops and sometimes has issues. There's a, like, a, there, isn't there like literally there's an, an all girl band at one point. Yeah. Well, yeah. there is an all girl bands and that seems incredible. Uh -huh. um, but isn't there like literally an anime about that currently? They have like, dun, 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 dun. there's like literally a, I have no idea. Do the whole song. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And now this, uh, this three minute segment <laughs> yeah. is brought to you by Nick's singing abilities. Uh, yeah. There is like a band. There's like a band, like an all girl band anime uh -huh. right now. It's super popular. Probably. Yeah. Um, insane. Absolutely not at all what I thought it would be about. Mm -hmm. First, like, two minutes of the show, like, a girl's got another girl in the crosshair of her sniper, sniper rifle. Yeah. So, brief, brief summary of what the show is. It's uh, ten years old. Feel free to spoil. It's about, like, when you die... Or there, it's this afterlife high school. Yeah. So it's full of all these teens who have died with tragic lives and they're there to get closure. Yes. But the cool thing about it, and that's kind of the spoiler. Yeah. Uh, the cool thing about you it. You learned that in like episode seven. 
of 12. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. Um, so the cool thing about it is that like, it's whole, like the afterlife is a positive thing. Like it's there to help these kids yeah. move on. But since they've all had these traumatic backstories, since they're all rebellious teens, they are like resistant to it. Like mm -hmm. they show up in the school and they're like, the school wants us to move on. Yeah. Fuck that. We're not moving on. Exactly. We're staying traumatized. Yeah. And so it's like the themes. I don't know if the mechanics of everything make fully like make a lot of sense. Gotcha. But the themes are airtight. Yeah. Like it's a very cool. It absolutely fucking shattered me at one point. Oh, you want to yeah. guess what point? I'm assuming during the baseball game when she catches Which? it. Oh, which baseball game? When is it? There's one? a baseball episode. <laughs> yeah, the baseball is, is like when he makes the catch, because like that's the the kid who makes the catch, and like that's like his whole thing. Or is it, it when she gets married? It's when she gets married. Oh my god! Yo, fuck that! Oh, that god. was horrible. I have goosebumps just thinking about it. That was absolutely it. horrible. Yeah. When she's like, "Would you marry me?" and I'm like, "Fuck it, ease ease up, lady." Uh -huh. And then Hinata is like, "I'll do it," and I'm like, "Do it." She loves you. <laughs> <laughs> And he's like a very like background character, but Ugh. it's like this like beautiful like coming of age story for both of them, like getting closure it in that was moment. Incredible. And there's a montage of him helping her out because she's paralyzed in real life. And yeah. it's like what they would have been in their world. Yeah. Oh, uh -huh. it was devastating. It was insane. And yeah. it's funny because the first like four episodes, Comedy I was like, anime. I was like, fuck Nick, what is this? Mm -hmm. Like, it, it is a comedy anime. The comedy's funny. Very funny. It's a, it's a very funny spinning show. spinning the halberd outside yeah. uh, and then it falls makes me laugh every single time. It's so, There's like a montage where they're like trying to get from like point A to point B and all these like robot clones keep popping up Yeah, and they're just like throwing themselves at her, like sacrificing themselves. Because they can die and come back. Yeah, yeah. like no one can actually die because it's the afterlife and it's like most of the jokes are edited like a team four star a bridge. Yeah. But like licensed and real. Uh -huh. Like it's so unhinged. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it was good. Definitely like, I don't know. Like it's we. It's like eight out of 10, I want to say. Okay, that's but like, fair. But like a high eight because the beginning is slow and it's like kind of nonsense a little. Oh, yeah. But I think it's like, I think that's the point. I it's think supposed it's supposed to set you in the idea, like, uh, like of what they've been trying to do because they're focusing their energy on Angel. Yeah, and she's like, Angel is what's going to purify us, even though right. Angel is just a kid like the rest of them. Yeah, it, I think the fact that it's it's like so weirdly smart, like the fact that it's yeah. nonsense is on purpose because it's like, yeah, it doesn't make sense that Angel's attacking them. This doesn't make sense. This doesn't make sense. And then you find out it's because the students are causing all of their own problems yeah like angel is there there's like this 14 year old terminator essentially she has like she has like edward's like blade hands yeah she has laser blades mm -hmm. like and she is there to help them move on and they all they've seen her do is like talk to their friends and then their friends disappear yeah. and they're like fuck that that looked terrifying so yeah. and then they attack her and it's just like they could all move on peacefully but they are just terrified of what's next. Did you notice in the e the the closing that every single time one of them gets released to the afterlife, they no longer exist in the closing? No. Oh, you didn't notice Whoa. this? I mean, I've seen the anime like 12 times. Took me I a saw, times. Well, I saw in the one that your Rippy like passed on in. Hey, hey, neutral. Uh, hello, hello, friend. In the one that your Rippy passed on in, she's like smiling in uh -huh. the outro but she was still there that's wild yeah I didn't so notice. as the, like the episode they disappear like after they disappear they just no longer appear in the outro yeah. did you like the intro it's my favorite intro of all time i did but i can't tell if it's like stockholm syndrome in my head because mm -hmm. honestly i wake up angel beats eat breakfast <laughs> angel beats like your beats my name like yeah do 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 yeah that fucking piano is just like it's like me punching into my like blue collar job. Like we live such silly lives. Yeah, like <laughs> just, just hear it, hear it at night. You're like no, I know. I like almost like shrivel up and like yeah. take a sip of my coffee. Like, who's your favorite? Who's uh, your favorite angel beater? Um, I don't remember their names, but the, the me neither. The, the dumb idiot with the halberd, I okay. adore. The guy who only speaks in English, yeah, also love him. Okay. Um, and then the like co-main protagonist, like not the main guy, but I think he's got like blue Hinata? hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The guy who with, with his like no homo arc. Exactly. Yeah. 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 He he's my favorite, and I love the like little demon looking girl. 
The one who's in the band? The one who gets married to Hinata. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Because she does nothing wrong uh -huh. and everyone is so mean to her for nothing, for truly nothing. She's like, can I join a band? And they're like, fuck you, bitch. <laughs> And then she's like, just uh, slow walking away. Yeah, she's like, I sorry, I just really like the band. And they're like, then join it, idiot. And she's like, okay, I will. I'm sorry. She's done nothing wrong. Nothing and at all. And then she gets married, which is nice yeah. at the end. So. Or also the super serious ninja girl is also hilarious. She's cool, yeah. yeah. But there is like a very funny, like, no homo arc with Hinata mm -hmm. where he like, every time someone is like nice to the protagonist, the protagonist is like, hey, are you gay, man? And they're like, they're like, no, I'm not gay. This is 2010. We yeah. can't be gay. It's <laughs> not allowed yet. And then, and then towards the end, the main character finds uh, his friend like all beat up and shit. And he's like, Hinata, are you all right? And Hinata's like, hey, you came right to me. What are you gay <laughs> and passes out and i'm like let's go let's go Hinata. <laughs> wait wait to hold hold the line till yeah. the end you brave soul it was hype oh uh, yeah i also like i feel like that show is also stockholm syndrome for me because i think i watched it when i was like 16 yeah and i was just like just like emotionally like when yeah. you're a teenager as a boy it's just like anime <laughs> hits different like, yeah I, I don't think i enjoy anime as much now as i did then because i used to just sit and watch 12 <laughs> episodes and just like not feel anything but feel everything yeah because i was a young boy full of cum and testosterone oh and i was just like i was like i was like i need to feel yeah. this but i don't understand what i I'm just feeling. imagine you you're such a weird blend of like i imagine you as like this seven foot tall jock like shoving kids in a locker but then at the same time i imagine you like doing hand signs in the back of the class telling really kids good. not i've been practicing that was really good <laughs> Um, just practicing in the back of the class, telling kids not to come to lunch tomorrow. I was a tri varsity captain who in had what? Uh, uh, baseball, football, uh, freestyle skiing. Nice. Which third one yeah. might as well not be real. Yeah, there was hardly. Eight of us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but and then I had a high school, uh, high school DXD computer background. Oh, so, I thought you were gonna say club that you yeah, ran. That yeah, would have been hype. I'm just like, yeah, me and, <laughs> me and all my other devils. You guys wouldn't get it. We had an anime club in my high school, uh -huh. and I was so pretentious because I was like, I'm gonna check out anime club. I'm kind of into that. Attack on Titan just came out. Let's see what this is about. And I like pass by the door, and it's like some of the worst kids in my year and they're like oh, yeah. so we're gonna go around and say our favorite pokemon yeah and like that's probably how you should open eighth grade anime club i would hope but i'm just like man these guys think pokemon's an anime fuck, fuck this he just pulls pin yeah. out of grenade yeah, like, <laughs> see you later nerds i'm so i'm so pretentious that i've like gone full sir i've gone 180 into not even knowing my shit yeah you know what i mean i'm like pokemon's not an anime idiot yeah watch naruto a more obscure anime <laughs> yeah. Yeah. no one's even heard of this one yeah. yet i'm new to it yeah watch this underground anime yeah. naruto i i mm, i've had a, a confusing <laughs> relationship with the weebs of my life like uh, wildly met weebs yeah uh because i was pretty much the only weeb in my high school like i had friends who watched anime with me uh and like but i, I was the driving force in us watching anime yeah like i was like i'm watching sword art online let's watch it together and yeah. they're like yeah i'm down with that uh and we would all watch sword art online and then like asana would get like you know her boobies grabbed and we'd all be like <laughs> not yeah. gonna talk about that one uh That's tough. and then in college i was also pretty much the only weeb in my circle mm -hmm. until i met my roommates that i would go on to live with who also would only watch anime when I put it on. Yeah. But like one of my other roommates, like he like enjoyed anime like peripherally, but like, so like, I just like, the further I got into science, the closer I got to like weebdom. Yeah. But like, I, I went to a very like, uh, you oh know, like, like, oh yeah, my dad went to this high school and yeah. he was tri-varsity Oh, captains. big daddy's credit card high yeah, school. It was yeah. just, it was that. And so it was yeah. like a bunch of people being like, oh, don't no, watch that, those Chinese devil cartoons. But like, as I, devil cartoons, as I got closer yeah. to people, like it got chiller. Yeah, uh, yeah, Because like, yeah. everyone knew I was the anime guy. Yeah. Like I fucking, it was like, I wore it on like, I wasn't ashamed of it. Right. Um, I was a little ashamed of it. <laughs> uh, to, to be fair, I was watching Monster Masume like once a week. Yeah. So I it's, should have been. It's funny because the more confident you are in a hobby, the less embarrassing it becomes. Like if you should walk around like being a normal dude wearing a like anime, wearing anime sleeves, wearing yeah. two anime sleeves, just walk around. You're like, hi, I'm Nick. I'm a normal person. I like anime. People are like, Oh, that's crazy. I also have hobbies and interests. I think the more 
confident you are about the things you love, the yeah. hotter you are. It's it's whenever you're like, if you're watching anime in class and people are like, oh, what do you watch? You're like, nothing. <laughs> That's when people are like, oh, I'm not going to talk to you. Don't look. <laughs> yeah, you could have been watching like notes for the upcoming test and I yeah. still would have found this horrible. You're like your entire reaction to this. Like, yeah. what do you plan? Like, what is that? Like the layout to the school? <laughs> yeah, you're trying to like... find like what exits you can close off when you pull it out of your backpack. <laughs> This is not a good prank. Nobody do this. You know what? I shouldn't even say this. No, do it, please. <laughs> please. I would like, it'd be not funny. Uh, you know, it wouldn't be funny, Nick, and no one should do What? So this reminds me of the whitest kids you know bit. <laughs> Where yeah. they're like, this, you incredibly can't. felonious. Yeah. yeah, don't say I'm going to kill the president. president. Yeah. I'm not going like, to, yeah. it would be super illegal if I told you the yeah. best place to bomb the White House would be yeah. from the corner of the reservoir. That'd like be the Roosevelt super building. illegal and wrong. You know yes. what else would be very wrong? Mm -hmm. Imagine just like sitting in study hall and having like the blueprint of your school open on your <laughs> would laptop. would be so funny. Just like, I just, <laughs> I just like have X's on the exits. That just, would be awesome. Just be like, this. you know, I'm studying plumbing. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like I'm a, I'm a big architect. I just like the layout. I think they did a really good layout with this uh, yeah. with this school. What do you think about doors that open inwards? <laughs> Pretty easy to close up, right? That's what, I'm, yeah. that's what I was I'm thinking. I'm really enjoying our last days on YouTube <laughs> right now. <laughs> and first time we get flagged for, yeah. for dangerous information. Oh my God, Neutron ripped. Did he? <laughs> yeah. I think I've gone immune to it. Ugh. Also, you're in the direction of it. He's a very yeah. directional farter. Wow. Um. So I was going to say, oh, I, this is com this is kind of common. I get a lot though um is like all whenever I do like an update on my tattoos I'll get comments um from people being like can't believe this guy has a girlfriend and I'll be like you know what that's fair yeah. but like because it's it's similar because like they're like oh this guy got anime tattoos can't believe he's got a girlfriend it's like have you heard being likable yeah like yeah. have you heard just like because like well people don't realize me and Dorothy never talk about anime yeah. ever she doesn't watch it yeah. why and people assume because I like anime I just go around being like have you seen yeah, just Vinland Saga's on new people. episode? <laughs> I'm like, hey man, did you watch yeah. the Lakers game? It was pretty good. Yeah. Like I'm a regular guy. Like yeah. we can talk about anything. Yeah. Like sure, if you commit your entire personality to anime and manga and you're just like, oh, I don't know. She kind of reminds me of Ram. I don't know if I like her. <laughs> no one's gonna fucking talk to you. Yeah. But like people are like, oh, I can't believe this guy who's so unabashedly an anime fan has a girlfriend. I uh, one good at sex. Two, nice. I let's know how, go. I let's want to talk all, to people. Let's go. All those sexers out there. Big. You know who you are. Let's you go. know who you are. Not, yeah. Yeah. Fucking. I'm. A, I'm not a virgin. You know what's funny too? That uh, also implies that like women don't like anime. You know. Yeah. Like where it's like I can't believe you have a girlfriend. Girls like anime. I backed <laughs> like, women over conversations yeah. of anime. Yeah. Like it's, there is a lot of them actually. You mentioned, I swear to God, you go into a, like any anime convention, just put on a Nana shirt. Yeah. You'll go home with a woman. <laughs> it's not hard. Just have, have a cursory knowledge of Nana yeah. or, or Sailor Moon yeah. or just like, or Banana Fish or Horamiya. Like you, I swear to God, watch romance anime. <laughs> you, turn, you turn southern for a second. Well, I you, I swear I to God, I'm child. I'm <laughs> hell you. Yeah, Listen, like, I like le legitimately just like. Yeah, it's so easy. It's like anything. Literally, most things that people find embarrassing, if you just are like open and like normal about it. Yeah. The world opens up to you. That's literally why I started painting my nails. Mm -hmm. Like I was like, oh. First off, it happens all the time in anime. So just like growing up, I was, I was like, man, Itachi looks cool with those painted looks nails. Looks fucking sick. Looks sick. They all had painted nails. I like one day I was like, I'm going to paint my nails black, like be a little edgy. Everywhere I went, girls are complimenting me. Oh, yeah. It feels so nice to get a compliment. Confidence is sexy. If you just like walk around with the thing you like on, like people will compliment and be like, oh, I like that thing. I'm insecure about it. See, that's that's the thing. Anytime I see somebody pushing it, you know, yeah. pushing the limits, I go out of my way to be like sick. Yeah. If I see a dude in like a crop top in like pink skin, like like pink shorts or something, like some some pushing it like thing that you don't see on the street every time, I'm like, love your top. Yeah. Like yeah. I just cause like, you know, it takes balls to put that yeah. on. Yeah. And I'm like, hell yeah, dude. You fucking you break the norms. You do your goddamn yeah. thing. Confidence is sexy, baby. That's why listen, <laughs> I I'm I, I'm, at, I'm at a point in my life where I'm like, if you aren't doing what you love or at yeah. least like aren't striving to do what you love i just it's a turnoff for me yeah i'm like i'm just like listen i understand people are, are working like i what i learned in a, a great friend of mine kate from college told me when i was working in science she was like you're not gonna get satisfaction from do like working in science mm. you don't love it enough and like she was like so 
fulfill your life outside of work. Yeah. And that's why I started making content. And yeah. without Kate, it wouldn't have happened. And so. Nice. Let's go, Kate. I mean, also without Dorothy and uh, but many other people. Like nah, oh, Kate. Just you, yeah. just you, Kate, who's definitely not watching this. Uh, but yeah, no. So that's, it's, it's, it's yeah. absolutely like sexy as shit when you're just confident in what you do. Yeah, watch what you want. Start a podcast. Wear a toga. Yeah, fucking yeah. dump out the nipple. <laughs> yeah. Bring your bring your kill your it will kill trophy. Also, <laughs> anyway, should we move on? Well, I was gonna say people have been asking to see portraits, by the way. Um, in uh, once it's done with festivals, mm. that's why I'm doing all this. I want people to want to see it. Yeah, that's right. Once Get desperate for it. I'm, Get real I'm horny for it. Building up hype. Uh, yeah. Once it's done with festivals, because festivals won't accept films that are public. Like they want, oh. they want to be like, hey, they want to see it first. They want uh, films that have hype around them. So follow the portraits uh, Instagram page if you want to help us out. Wow. Yeah, look at that. Do it. Um. They want like films that have hype around them so then they can show them exclusively at their premieres or at their festivals and be like, hey, buy tickets to our festival. You want to see the short film this toga wearing idiots been talking about? Absolutely. Because like, that's come what everyone says about you. Toga yeah. wearing idiot. Yeah. Everyone's it's calling me Socrates. Now. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because like that's actually what you wore in yeah. Muskogee and everyone was like, this is confusing. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's actually. Yeah. They're like, who invited Plato? And I was like, it's Socrates. Socrates you dumb. You yeah. simple. Do I look? Do I not look like the yeah. kind of person who would get poisoned to death after yeah. telling the Senate to fuck off? Yeah, hey, how about this? Look up in the stars. I don't know a single thing about those, <laughs> idiot. <laughs> Wasn't my time, yeah. dipshit. So, all right. Yes. Look at this. I don't know what just happened. <laughs> I have no idea. What caused that? Roughly sure <laughs> that, that women's menstrual periods yeah. bring bears. Yeah. Not quite sure. Check, check that out. Moon did it. Moon. <laughs> Pretty sure we're the center of the universe. Don't know if anybody yeah. can refute that yet. Yeah. We do not know our philosophers on this podcast. Then again, why would we need yeah. to know? Most of them were wrong. Yeah. Like any for anybody until the guy who made fucking algebra and died a virgin. All wrong. <laughs> yeah. Most oh. of them touched kids. And Go Van Gogh. No. Nope. What, about- what? The Leonardo. Da Vinci. DiCaprio. The, the guy who did the the man. I don't know. What the, we're he, did the, yeah, he did the yeah, duality yeah. of yeah, Da Vinci, man. for sure. Leonardo DiCaprio. Yeah. Likes him young. Um, oh, no, damn. Anyways. <laughs> okay. A lot of anime news. Like, so objectively, so much anime news. Um, I want to go, I'm going to go through some bullet points here pretty quickly. Yeah, shock uh, on it. We Mashal, are out of time. <laughs> Mashal, not, uh, Mashal has a skeleton unicorn, um, w- which is straight from Harry Potter, right? Because they have skeleton horses. That you can only see if you have like magic Okay, or- but come on. They don't have a fucking monopoly on skeleton horses. Well, I know. How do you see the skeleton unicorn? I think, I think well, so the, so what it, the skeleton unicorn, I think you like touch his horn. Okay. Uh, you just grab his yeah. horn. Uh, they put a brick on it for some reason. That seems I think- like the last thing you want to do when you introduce to a unicorn. Yeah, I don't, mm, maybe. Yeah. I've heard unicorn horn has aphrodisiac properties. I have so, heard that too. Yeah. Why have we heard that? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I think that's why they got eliminated. I think that's why they got killed because people you. couldn't get boners before Viagra. Um, and so they have to touch the horn and then they get sorted into dorms by the unicorn. Oh, so it was sick. like, it was like a weird crossover yeah, event. So we're you. still doing Harry Potter. So that's a sorting hat. Yeah. The but, sorting corn. Well, a sorting corn. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, and then also, uh, hell's paradise, 100% not doing nipples. Nice. Yeah, I figured you were curious. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. So we saw full boobies. I'm fine. I guess I'll put it away. Yeah. Two sets of no. Yeah. Listen, that just means we we give out more than yeah. House Paradise. Yeah, yeah. So if you're looking for nipples, we're cornering anime. it. Yeah. Yeah. We've cornered the the nipple market. Yeah. Uh, outside of that, uh, there was also oh Oceanico, which you did not watch, which I didn't have time for. No. I need to talk about. Okay. Talk about. This it. is not going to be a bullet point. This is a. A solo man's podcast. Okay. With a, the occasional uh huh from Danny. Yeah. So I was two episodes behind, which uh-huh. means I've watched. You're doing great. <laughs> uh, which means I watched episode five and episode six. Yeah. Uh, and so episode five, uh, they they started to dip a toe into like weird shit again, and I don't know if this actually exists in Japan, and if it does, I kind of hate it. Uh-oh. So uh, episode five, uh, Aqua, the main character, gets mm-hmm. in, like he's like he does this movie. Uh, and the director's like, if you want information about I, you got to get on my TV show. Yeah. Um, and so it's a reality dating television show. But for those of you who are, who are listening well at home, you'll know Aqua, first year of high school. Right. Like 13, 14, I think he's 14, maybe yeah. 15. Um, if so, it's first year of high school, he's like 13. But like, high school works differently in Japan. Oh, okay. They only do three years. So you, you go in as like a oh, sophomore, yeah, I think. Yeah, like 15. So he's like 15. Yeah. Uh, and the, the, the reality dating show is like a bunch of like, like, social media influencers and actors and uh, pinup models and all that 
all in high school. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it's a high school reality date and television right. show, which is basically euphoria. Yeah, if we're, if we're being yeah. if we're being real, uh, and fortunately none of them are like, oh, look at these high schoolers smush. You're that's like, good. That's yeah. a bare minimum. Yeah, you're like, <laughs> yeah. okay, that's that's nice that we're not doing that at least. Uh, and so it's like him being on this reality television show, and it's once again the Oceanoko effect where you're like this premise. Yucky. Yeah. But fuck, did they nail it? Yeah. Like, absolutely. Like, they're just like showing the behind the scenes of a reality, t- like dating TV show. Mm. And they're like, none of us are lying per se. Yeah. But we're playing, we're trumping up our emotions. Right. We're right. on this show to get clout. We're yeah. like, we're here, like, yeah, like I might find love, but like also, like, it's work, yeah. you know? And so, like, it's like all of them, like, being super calculating in their moves for what re- like relationships are going to get into. Right. And then slowly but surely, this one girl who's been like giving her entire life to be like a really good actress start like falls out of like like everyone kind of forgets her like Mm. she like becomes a background character of the dating show and then like she's like trying to like get herself back into this like the spotlight of it all and this is uh, uh, so like that's kind of episode six use your words but also in episode five um aqua ruby aqua's sister is trying to like start an idol group and this youtuber like who's also under strawberry productions like gets introduced yeah and his name is pinon and he's like this like fitness he's a fitness youtuber but he wears a pigeon head and so it's like his whole thing is ridiculous, but like he just like does our like workouts with people and he's like super high energy. And yeah. Stank, our, our lovely, definitely legally named editor, Stank, reaches out and he goes, Pinon reminds me of you. And I was like, what? That's tough. I, I was like, oh yeah, the fitness the fitness YouTuber with wearing a pigeon mask. That's and you. I, and then I, yeah, I, I'm, I'm watching it and like they're making fun of him for being ridiculous. They're yeah. like, you do something so silly. Like why, like, why are you even doing this? And he goes, he goes, I make a hundred million yen a year. There it and is. And I was like, there <laughs> yeah. he is. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> it was like, wow. like, yeah, you, you figured it out. That's so bold of Stank. Yeah. That's so- <laughs> it's like, it's like, Stank knows he's invaluable. He's like, there's a character in here that reminds yeah. me of you a lot. And I was like, I got to that. And they were all like, oh, I'm so sorry. I made fun of you. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, and then episode six, they're dealing with this character who, who falls out of like, like the public eye basically yeah and then she accidentally hurts one of the other actresses and it's like the whole episode is called ego surfing mm. so god knows you've done it god knows i'm currently doing what it. what have i done what are you accusing me so of? ego surfing yeah it's like when a, one of your videos is doing really well and you open the comments and everyone's being really nice oh yeah and you're like nice it's great it's you're very like, good yeah like everyone's like wow that's a great video and you're like, <laughs> i know i made it yeah um uh-huh. and so you're and then like But like, so everybody else is like ego surfing because the reality TV show is doing well. They're talking about how musicians after like a rap party will like ego surf. It's like a really good introspective look into like being a content creator, just like putting, like being a creative nowadays. Like we're all on social media. And so like all of us are like, you know, we look, (laughs) we look for the good comments. They make you feel good. They give you a little serotonin dump. But this one girl crosses one of the other ones, like the most popular girl on the show. Everyone's telling her to kill herself. And it's just like dealing with like, the duality of like being in the social, like in like the public's eye and how oh, like yeah. she's on Twitter and people are like, how dare this bitch even like lay a fit? Like, it's a relevant bitch. And it just like slowly, but surely eats at her. And like, yeah. or, like her friends turn on her. Like everybody who she even knew is like, Oh yeah, she's always been like this people like, and it's like, like, and they splice it in with like how hard she's been working to get to this point. Yeah. And the episode ends with like her about to like commit, like commit suicide, Jeez. commit on lip. Uh, <laughs> and <laughs> Aqua like saves her. Oh, and nice. it's a gorgeous moment. But like, it's just like such a, like the best. And the reason I wanted you to watch it is yeah. there's a YouTuber. It's like about YouTubers and like, right, right. And they're like talking like, oh, you started as a TikToker. And they're talking like, well, yeah, but TikTok doesn't pay. Yeah. It, like conversations I have every fucking time. I like bump into another YouTuber. It's like, how'd no, you, that's super how'd interesting. you start? They're like, oh, I was on TikTok yeah. first, but TikTok doesn't pay. So talk, now- talk to any creator for five minutes and they will dive into a list of complaints I, about whatever they're currently it's doing. It's so funny. Yeah. We didn't even talk about the fact that we went to volleyball ball last weekend no time yeah we literally we're out of the numbers well it's funny it's funny that you bring up the like ego surfing thing Mm -hmm. and it is ironic because i should have watched this episode because it's very relevant to my week but like i posted put out like a bungo stray dogs video that i was like super proud of i'm like these two episodes banged i've made some like killer jokes yeah absolutely nailed it i'm hyped about the opening of the video yeah put out the video it's like a five out of ten on YouTube, but which, I'm like, there's, which is whatever. I've gotten myself to like six and ten. I'm like, okay, yeah, yeah gun, it's okay. 
goes back and like yeah. in the in the drawer, you know. It, it's okay. Like you know, all of the numbers are like fairly close in views, so yeah. like whatever. Um, but I'm like scrolling through all the comments. I'm doing some ego surfing. And I'm like, yeah, like people love it. Like I I wade through like dozens of like oh like love that Danny's loving the show. Like love these reactions, this and that. Yeah. I scroll to one like kind of disappointed with this video uh the jokes weren't as funny as i was hoping they'd be and i'm just like oh that's all it takes for me to be like nobody would miss me if i died would they <laughs> would they i guess i guess and not even like not even a sad way i just read it and i'm like i guess i guess i really could just drop off the face of the I earth and like, no one would I notice like, <laughs> i was like just like there's like I don't know. I thought that one joke didn't land. Just like opens Google Thomas yeah. Bridges near me. Yeah, like, 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 just like, like less least obnoxious way to kill self. Like, what's, like what's, what's the least flashy way that people won't like? What's the best to clean up suicide? Yeah, like, like, just to stay considerate. <laughs> like that's all. Cause that's what's so funny is that like, yeah, media has to be exciting and have to, they have to have it be like this full, like, Oh, everyone, turns on the person they're getting cyber bullied everywhere they go yeah people don't realize it takes all so much takes, less than that yeah all it takes is a single comment yeah being like oh did anyone notice danny kind of lisps to be like I'm, I'm done i'm quitting yeah. like absolutely destroyed wig arms lisp like, yeah there's been so many shots across the bow that have yeah. just landed it, it's like so funny the ones that hit and don't because the socrates one i'm like that's hype i'm gonna talk about it oh because like that's an asshole. Like that's just yeah. like, like that person objectively has no love in their life. Like it's like like you occasionally you'll get a comment well, from somebody. They still like the podcast. Oh yeah, <laughs> I'll tell them. You know, maybe you Google tallest bridges as well. Wow. No, I'm kidding. Obviously, don't do that. Do a short bridge. That way you can yeah. think about what you've done in the yeah. Make your own decision. Coward. Yeah, exactly. You coward. But no, it's like I get I get emails every day to kill myself. Like every day, every <laughs> like, like every fucking day. I get and that's sometimes so, are they emails? Because that's funny. Because it takes so weird, much will for right? me to open up my email. Yeah. Let alone tell someone to kill themselves. No, like I got an email from some guy being like Shiswi and Obito or brother and and they're yeah. like. So as you know, Shiswi is still alive. And they're like, oh, some of these idiots will tell you Shiswi aren't alive. And I was like, I've made like six. I was like, my brother in Christ, I've made like six videos telling people why Shiswi is not alive. All I respond is, oh, kill yourself. And I was like, oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, done. Every, <laughs> no, every day I get told to kill myself. So it's like, those are like, it's fine. Yeah. But when it's people being like, oh, Nick has no idea what he's talking about. Nick does. It's like when they like, like insult my hard work, I'm like, I will find you. Yeah. After I kill myself, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. like, I will haunt you. Yeah, after I honor the request yeah. of these last few people. Yeah, if you uh, if you insist. Yeah. But yeah, no. So it was like it was so so like I literally I don't know if they made, like they made this show for content creators. Yeah, I don't like it's obviously like I want to know like the public perception of Oceanico because like I feel like I have such a bias yeah. because let us know they're talking about shit I do like. Yeah. every day yeah let us know uh the public perception of it because i'm also oh god i got both nips out uh hell I, yeah i was also wondering like because it re i was shocked at how much of like a deep dive into the talent industry mm -hmm. it was and i know a few people have dropped off because of that like they kind of wanted the like l light yagami like they wanted aqua they want a classic becoming a psychotic yeah. yeah becoming a psycho rather than this like really Deep look into, into the talent like and what industry. we do on yeah. a day to day basis. We got a super chat. We got a super chat. And it looks fat. Did anyone notice Danny has a lisp? Fuck. Take that money back. Take it back. <laughs> Take back your dirty fucking blood money. Actually, no, send some more to pay for my funeral, you coward. Thank you, Dominic. That's you very bastard. Nice of you. Oh, How much no. did they send? Uh, not $20. Not enough. <laughs> That's a lot. That's Coward. a good amount. <laughs> Thank you, Dominic. That's very nice of you. I think we did notice. Outside of that, outside of Ocean Co news, there's also Demon Slayer news, but you've been drowning in homework. Fuck. I've been giving you, not like- not The last like two weeks, you've been like, yeah, Demon Slayer, whatever, you talk about it. it. I mean, it was just like for the last two weeks, it's a battle. But, like now we're finally getting like a look into the backstories of the characters, which is arguably the best part of Demon Slayer. Yeah. It's like, oh, like everybody's got a devastating backstory. Like, yeah, it's a world where demons live rampantly. <laughs> like there's gonna be some devastating backstories. It's as tough, yeah. And Genya and Tsunami not only have a dev like devastating backstory that's now been elucidated, but also what are the more devastating endings? Um, and so they, don't you dare! I'm not gonna. I'm not spoiling it. All right. Like it's like probably the saddest moment in the manga uh, pertains to those two. But 
Anyways, what I was saying is I just very happy that people now understand Genya and Tsunami's like motivations better, like because they are two of like the greatest characters in the entire story. Right. So once you get there, yeah, I'm very excited for you. I will be there by next pod for sure. Yeah. I'm so excited to catch up on Demon Slayer. The thing is, you did have like objectively, guys, for anybody who's going, oh, Genny, Genny's only seen three anime and he talks like he's seen a million. Danny had a lot of homework to do this week. I had so much homework. Uh, yeah. What other homework did I have that Dan you gave me? Danny also, oh, like I, like I gave Nick was texting me every other day being like, Danny, you got to come play beach volleyball. Danny, you got to watch this. Danny, you got to watch that. And Danny had a great time playing beach volleyball. Uh, Mind you, we met a lot of people. I didn't have a great time playing beach volleyball. Oh, that's a lot. I had a great time being there. Yeah. I didn't have a great time having my podcast co-host be team captain and still pick me last. I, I got picked last every round. Every Every round. single round. It got to the point where it would be me and one other person and the team picking is like looking at us and I'm like, okay, I'm on the opposite team. Got it. Listen, Fuck it, you. It's, it's like with Thanos. And then and Nick's like, like, but this this gives me pleasure. Uh, and yeah. then Nick's like, you coming next week? Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> Don't you spit at me. If you come every week, you'll get better. <laughs> no one wants me there you'll every week. You'll slowly achieve we, greatness. We were there with a bunch of other very nice content creators. Nobody at was first. even that good. At first, oh, we were with a bunch oh, of very oh, nice oh, content attacked? creators. Did you fall we're, under we're play, siege? We're playing, got to a point, because I'm a scout of the ball, uh -huh. okay? So the ball comes at me, I miss it, and got to the point... Where the very sweet, like, 5'1 girl. Tiny girl. Yeah, like, 5'1 beauty influencer behind me goes, mm. ugh, Danny. And I'm like, oh, my God, oh, no. Oh, no. I have overstayed my welcome, and I've been here for 30 minutes. Mostly because she was nice. <laughs> she was nice at volleyball. She was yeah. pretty good. Yeah, like, she was good. She received, like, four serves in a row that I would have no chance at. <laughs> and I was like, damn. She, yeah. she got it. Nobody wants me to return. If you mm. all get drinks, I'm coming for drinks. Nobody uh, wants me playing volleyball. You're great. Dorothy's coming next week just to watch. Yeah. So Maybe I'll come to watch. Yeah, like, you, you know what you do? Bring appetizers. Bring that, free that, food, yeah. You become, if you become volleyball I become mom, the mom, bring... Yeah. <gasps> Orange slices. If you bring orange slices, good graces. I bring orange slices. Ever. Yeah. Ever. I feel like the guys are going to like alpha me though. Who? Oh, the guy with four cats? <laughs> yeah, that guy. That being said, there was like a very influencer thing that broke out where everyone was like, can you do like these, like this calisthenics move? Like everyone was like, look how strong I am at a certain point. And that, there, there was a bit like, look how strong I am. And then I was just like, I was with Josh, my I roommate. I started it. Well, and then I was like, oh, like, I, I could do a handstand, and I do a little handstand, and then everyone's like, oh, you could do a handstand? Check this out. Yeah. And then they just left me in the sand, <laughs> yeah. and I never got to show my handstand to anybody. You're like, I can do things like, fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> It was a big like, fuck you. Scrawny ass wig arms. <laughs> what are you going to do with those? Yeah, that was, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. But outside of that, Danny did do very good because yeah. I was like a couple, like I think like a year and a half ago, Star Wars Visions came out yeah. the first season. It was good. It was very, it was very good. It was cool. Uh, second season, not as good. Really? Not as good. I've seen a bit. So you were saying uh, season two is not that good. I enjoyed, you know, more some more some than of them others. Were good. Yeah. I enjoy some more than others. I'd only seen the duel from volume the one. The studio before. trigger one, yeah. No, no, the like black and white oh, one. Oh, the, the, like, with like the samurai Ronin. Yeah, which is that like, crazy yeah. one. Mm -hmm. And so I went back and I was like, I should check out some of the other ones. I watched uh, the one called The Ninth Jedi, where it's like they all get summoned. Yeah. A bunch of Jedi get summoned uh, to one of them get turns. a lightsaber. Mm hmm. That one bangs. You may be right. Volume one may be better because that one was my favorite. Volume one. Did you watch volume two? I watched all of volume two. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And so, and not that there's anything wrong with what they did. It's just they they went further away from anime in volume two. Yeah. Like like all. It wasn't anime. Yeah. It simply wasn't. Exactly. Yeah. So it was like all of the first season was anime. Yeah. It was like like Trigger, Mappa, yeah. every like all of the big animation studios did mm -hmm. some. And then for this one, a couple of them were at like anime studios, uh, like Dart, uh, uh, Art Shadagio, I believe, uh, operates at least out of Shibuya, but it is American owned. Uh, and then there was the people who did Wallace and Gromit did an yeah, episode. Yeah, they did. And I was like, I didn't know like the the name. It was like Ardman or yeah. something. But I was like, I saw the teeth, and I was like, that's just that's yeah, Wallace, Wallace and Gromit. And Gromit. Absolutely. And it's like there was some really good ones. Yeah. Like I thought, um, my favorite was probably the Spy Dancer. That um, one's good. That's which, interesting. That's your favorite. Spy Dancer or... That um, one's French, I believe. Was it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think so. Or like Creole, you know? Mm -hmm. It was like a like a romance language, something around there. Gotcha. Creole is... Creole's Haitian. Yeah. But it sounds French. 
Does it? I believe so. Okay, I didn't. I didn't know yeah. there was a romance language. But anyways, like there was the spy, spy, spy dancer, and then there was the one where they had like cut off the dark head, travel to the dark head. Drink, oh that yeah, one. that one was really good. And then there was the one about them like trying to like steal back water. Also, Al's Al's song right. was good. But yeah, there was yeah, just, yeah. There was some where like so they were trying to tell global. Wow, stories. not Screechers Reach. Screechers Reach is fucking stupid. What do you mean? So that was dumb. so cool. It was fun. I liked the twist where it was yeah. like, oh, she had been recruited by the Sith to like, I was like, why is she going to Screechers Reach? It seems terrible there. And it's like I, to kill an old Sith. I thought that was rad. I love that like in the cave is this like insane old Sith mm -hmm. that is just like, like just screaming and flailing and blind. Like yeah. I, that's just so cool. Such it a was, weird little bit of lore. I just didn't love, like, I actually, it, was, it looked like the people who did Samurai Jack. It was like very Samurai Jack. -y. I, I wouldn't want like a whole like movie in that art style. Mm. Like I agree, but same with the dancer one. I was like, I can do a whole thing in this art style, but I, it's cool. I kind of liked it. The dancer one felt like unfinished. It looked mm -hmm. like an animatic. Like when things aren't moving, it mm -hmm. looks like a storyboard. To I me. guess, yeah, that's yeah. kind of fair. But like the scenes, like they did movement yeah. so well. Like the scenes which like flaps all like her wings and all that were really cool. So like my thing was, so they're trying to tell a global stories. So yeah. it was like animation studios from all over the world. There was like a bunch of native stories. Like the, there's a very overarching theme through all of the episodes. It's like the Sith are the white men. Yeah. Like like the Empire is like the white men and like they're stealing resources and yeah. like they are pushing out like the natives. That's like what the the water one was, which was called. I don't even know. It was like the one that looked like it was like felt stop. It looked like it was yeah, stopmation. Yeah. I forget what it was called. There was like that one. And then like spy dancer spy. And yeah. I think like, like spy dancer did that plot line much better mm -hmm. because they also did like the mother's love thing, which was also like a part of the, the water one. Um, and then like, there was like black stories and Indian stories. Yeah. And unfortunately, I, I just, oh God, I, I don't know if I'm alone on this. Oh boy, but like, where is this going? So the pit, the pit one yeah. was my least favorite episode. Really? Because, all right, I'm watching this. Yeah. I'm watching it. The only thing that ties any of this into the Star Wars universe is that they're mining Kaiba crystals. Right. And then it's like, oh, at the end, like she's slightly force sensitive. Yeah. But I was like, all right, we have one episode to tell like a, a, a black like story within Star Wars. What are we going to do? Oh, I don't know. Enslave them. Slaves? Yeah, oh, I, like, I see where you're going. That's like, tough. Yeah. Oh, my fucking God. <laughs> Can we get one black story that's not about, like, black suffering? There like, was the dancer ones black. It's more native than anything, I would say. I don't know. It's that's like it. Creole. They're black. But, like, it was, like, there was, like, graffiti in it. It was, like, very yeah. iconically, like, black American story. Right. Like, it was, like, like I watched almost all of it in dub, I believe. Yeah. And I think yeah. it's supposed to be watched in English. Yeah. Um, And it's just, like, I don't know. It was something about it. And, obviously, uh, the Architagio is... Oh, it's black owned and operated. They've done a bunch of like, like I think they do a lot of the black sand stuff. Uh -huh. But like I just I'm watching it. And I'm like, God damn it! Like why? Like why does this have to be the story? I was like we could just do like an empowering black story that doesn't be like oh yeah they had to be enslaved first. I like I see what you're saying. <laughs> like I, fuck. Like, it's like, like the one story we get about like iconically black and it's like. I, Throw them in a pit. I like the idea that it's not super Star Warsy, mm. just because the other theme of all of them was that. Oh, the the twist is that um, the Sith show up. The, well, the twist is like I'm a Jedi and I'm stealing your child. That happened like three times. All of them end with, with the child I'm a, being I'm, like by family. Yeah, all of them end with I'm a Jedi. I'm stealing your kid. Yeah, like so many of them. Mm. Genuinely, all of them. That I wonder if it was a prompt given by Disney. Yeah, they're like you could do a, a couple of different ones yeah. here. Yeah. So it was cool. I like the pit one because it's not that which is rad. Yeah. And it's also. I was watching, I wanted it to be like, I like that it was dour. Like, mm. I was like, if they show up to the pit, because at the end, a bunch of like citizens show up to the pit and yeah. then help them. When they come over and they're looking down the pit, I was like, if they just leave and all these people die in the pit, that'd be rad. That would have been fucking like, crazy. I was like, I want this to be dark and I like that they throw him in the pit and the mm. guy dies. I, you know what I wanted? That's sweet. I wanted his sister to stand over it and like the kyber crystal she has to turn red. That'd if, be hype. If yeah. they had just turned her yeah. into a... Like, I'm so sick of the, like, we have to, like, be yeah. the good people out of the situation. No, destroy the fucking city. Well, that's, that's what I liked about it is that it did have that darkness where, like, this guy everyone's like, don't go to the city. They'll fucking hate you. Yeah. Like they won't care. And he goes to the city and he proves that guy wrong. Cause they do care. Mm. But the stormtroopers drag him back to the pit and throw him in. Yeah. And I was like, that's good. That I wanted my, that's my dose of darkness. Yeah. You're like, let's, 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 let's darken yeah. up the story a little bit. Yeah. A lot of them were, none of them really took risks. I didn't like the Indian one. 
Because the, the kid fucking sucks. Oh my God, I hated her so much. That brother, so there's an Indian one uh, where it's like, or you know, Indian inspired. Did you inspired. watch that in Japanese or English? I watched them all in English. Okay. I, there, it's Indian inspired. Anytime we say a country, it, like they all take place on like Globu 9. Yeah, you know, yeah, it's, it's Star Wars. It's, it's Globokin 9 yeah. in the far reaches of the Andromeda, but yeah. it's fucking India. I, um, but the Indian inspired one, what I liked about it the was. The most one note characters I've ever seen in my entire fucking life. I didn't mind the brother. Like, I like that it's like character focused and they're like, he's doing some goofs. Yeah. And I liked the design of the Sith. Because mm. it was this cool, like Indian-inspired, like design, yeah. like that. I like seeing when they take cultures and like are like juxtapose them. Yeah, onto like it. what, like what is a samurai Sith? That was like the fun of season one. And yeah. so, like with this, it's other cultures. Um, that brother needs to have a fucking sit down and maybe smack with his sister and be like, "Stop doing the fucking stop force. using the force. You are getting us almost killed so frequently." Why, was, why wasn't that the first? Yeah. we brought up oh mom got cut down because they were looking for yeah. your ass why are you using the force on a train in front of a bunch of people yeah i that i would throw that kid off the fucking Kevin, train oh yeah little girl she did it again even, yeah even after she pulled the flute and he knew what she did yeah did, didn't it wasn't like yeah. don't do that even after they almost die on the train and she does it again at the little village also, like fuck off also the only thing that she had the ability to say was lebby like she's the like candy <laughs> like, I'm like, yeah. I'm like how old is this child and then once again, at the end, it's a Jedi who cuts down like, this old woman out of nowhere, yeah. just has this battle against a Sith, no development for either character, like nobody does anything, <laughs> yeah. and then the Sith uh, steals the child. Or no, the, the, the Jedi steals the, Jedi, the child. Yeah, the Jedi's like, I want this kid. And he's like, okay. <laughs> Those were my two least nope. favorite episodes. They were just like, oh, God, it was so bad. Was I loved I loved Owl's song. So good. That was sick. The yeah. animation style, like I'd watch a full movie like that. It reminded I, me of... um. Is it Chopper? No. Um, the little the little purple round guy is he's got the orange fish friend. Um, not Kirby? Adventure Time. Um, Gumball. Gumball. Yeah, yeah Gumball? it reminded me of Gumball. Yeah, a little. Yeah, 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 it does. Yeah, I think that one's like African or like Ugandan or something. Was that what it was? It seemed no it. idea. I also have no idea. But it was cool. <laughs> yeah, I liked it, it. It seemed just from like accents. That's all I can gather, yeah. and like the general look of it. But it was like. Out of all of them, because I kept being like, I hate that the twist is like, I'm a Jedi, I'm taking your kid. Mm -hmm. But when that girl whipped out a lightsaber, I was like, rad. I yeah. needed to see that in this art style. Absolutely. Yeah, no, that was yeah. really, really good. Then, like, so, like, I think what it felt like was uh, this season felt like a tech test for a bunch of different, like, studios. Like, the yeah. last one was like, and maybe just because I like anime more than I like, you know, like, yeah. but like a lot of these were like anime esque, you know, and so like some, yeah. I don't know, man. It was just, it was fine. It was a fine season. It you was nothing crazy. You know, it's weird too, and it's uh, yeah, none of them blew me away. That one I talked about in Volume One, the mm -hmm. Ninth Jedi, that did kind of blow me away. I was oh, like, yeah. oh, okay, this rules. Um, and Owl Song, I would consider close to blowing me away. I did love that one. Yeah. But you know what's weird? I'd heard news that Studio Ghibli was working on like a baby Yoda short. And I'd assumed that was for this. So what is that? Wow. <laughs> Bro, the amount it's just it's Disney adults. And like they're just like, I love Grog. Oh my God. I hate it. I you hate know, it so much. You know what I would love to see though? <sighs> I saw like an Instagram post of this. Uh -huh. Someone did like Pikachu in a Studio Ghibli art style. Oh yeah, yeah, it's the AI generated stuff. Yeah, I would kill for Pokemon in Studio Ghibli. It would that be would sick. be really cool. I wouldn't complain about it. It'd be sick with like the tone of like a Mononoke, where it's like a little more adult and like all about nature and shit. Mm -hmm. Honestly, at this point, I just I want I want Miyazaki to sleep. I'm very every time I hear a new Ghibli, and I know I know, I know, I know always, he wants to do it. I was it. gonna say you're always like that guy needs to die, and it's like no, he I don't want him working. to die. I don't want him to die. But the man has been animating <laughs> yeah. by hand since the '80s. He knows nothing else. I know, but like, he's got a family. He's made many movies about like how his family he hates his family. I know. <laughs> yeah. Like he's made many movies about like his family being like oh, like uh, many of the movies are like apologies to his family for never being around. Yeah. And I'm like motherfucker, you're 85. Yeah. Stop drawing. Be around. Put the pencil down. He hates his son. I why <laughs> he's just like his son is like I want to do what my father does and his father's like he will never do what I can yeah, do yeah he's like you will never <laughs> achieve yeah the, he's I mean he's Japanese Walt Disney were living yeah. during his time and obviously all the movies he's made are incredible but like if I'm being real it could be, oh if I be so oh real boy Porco Russo fine 
There's I, a few fine ones. Ponyo, yeah, they're not all. F- but those are the recent ones. Yeah. Oh, the most recent ones. I, yeah. I, I, Do you see the wind rises? Is that anything? I know Castle in the Sky. The Nausicaa is a lot. Valley of the Wind. Is no. That, is that the wind for? rises. Never heard of it. It's his latest, most recent. I'd have to watch Cut, it. like 2019. I don't even want to. I, I don't. I don't want to be like. Mm, you know, probably not. I good. haven't seen but it. Like, He's just not. Yeah. He's not like take a take a nap. <laughs> Go Damn. enjoy retirement. Damn. I listen. I love love Miyazaki. He's a yeah. genius. He is a like. I, I would. I have a Howl's Moving Castle tattoo. But like, I just want him to spend time with his goddamn <laughs> family, man. All right. Should we get the best boy? Sure. Okay. So wow, lot a lot covered this week. Yeah, honestly, tons. I feel like me and Danny have been moving at mock speed here. Oh yeah. Um, my best boy is Mash. Mash from mus- mass muscle muscles and muscles. My best boy is whatever doctor we're gonna get yeah. to figure out your aneurysm. <laughs> do you smell toast? Because I do. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Mash. Because Mash had the most uh, these hands are rated E for everyone moment <laughs> of all time. So Mash is just like beating up bad guys. Uh, and like one of the did I do this last week? You talk about fucking Mashal every week. This show only you watch, and I will never. I don't think I did this last week. You didn't. Okay, good. But and so so he's beating up this bad guy, and there's this one girl that like tricks one of her friends into falling into the situation. Uh-huh. And he just he was she was like, Oh, don't hit me. And he was like, Oh, don't worry, I treat everyone equally and just suplexed the woman. And I was like, Let's go, equal rights, equal fights. Nice. <laughs> like, he just it was just like he was like, Oh, like I didn't want him to like take the easy road out or something. And he just was like the very stereotypical like comedy, yeah. like shown in like antagonists was just like you're fucking gonna get these hands yeah <laughs> just, just suplex the woman into the ground and i was like that's my mc i love nice. national dude that's all you gotta do to get on nick's best boy list just hit, a woman. hit a woman just hit a bitch wow <laughs> really good really strong stance is happening this week nick hates miyazaki <laughs> wants him to die and loves seeing women get beat favorite running backs of all time yeah. in order oj <laughs> ray rice End of list. Yeah. No. Yeah. No Roethlisberger. No. Uh, no, that was a different kind. No, that was a different kind of of being bad to women. I. It's. I don't even. I just want to throw my hat. In the yeah. Ring. <laughs> was, uh, that and crashing a motorcycle. That's yeah. what he's known for. Interesting. Who's your best boy? Uh, my best boy is Mortal Kombat One. Yeah. Look at that. Not. What? What, what would it be? Twelve. It's one 11, now. Eleven. Yeah. Oh, they're doing the it Xbox. Would be 12. They're doing the Xbox. Yeah, they thing. reboot. Here's the thing about Mortal Kombat. But Mortal, Mortal Kombat is just Mortal Kombat. Yeah. And then there's but Mortal Kombat. But it's Kombat. one now. I, it's like I, people get Fast and Furious shit for this. So they, and the weird thing is, they might even call the one after this thirteen. <laughs> so the trailer, that would make sense though, because Mortal Kombat thirteen, like it's like Halloweeny, it's witchy. Well, a, Jason's 13. in Mortal Kombat. A, His whole thing yeah. is thirteen. Yeah. A um a trailer dropped for Mortal Kombat One today. Okay. Um tells us like nothing, like absolutely nothing, Naturally. other than it's a reboot, but in the fashion that Mortal Kombat likes to reboot itself, which is it does a reboot while still being the same continuity. So Mortal Kombat loves jumping timelines, jumping universes. Oh, there's no cohesiveness any like whatsoever. Yeah. It like nine through eleven are a single story, like they follow a linear path gotcha nine rebooted the series Mm -hmm. um while still making everything from one through eight canon this is doing the same thing reboot everything's canon still though jesus it's so much Uh but i love mortal kombat we'll see um but new trailer i love when you know things i know isn't that crazy i know even more i'm just reeling it in for you Uh, oh really Uh, yeah yeah just like rolling that fire hose back in there's gonna be an assist system but uh it's not a tag game which means it's just one it's like naruto ninja storm where like the early because four actually it's more like demon no it's both demon slayer is also a tag game but there is assist but ninja storm three two and one had the one taps yes so um, no one knows fully what that's going to be like. And people are a little nervous about it mm-hmm. because it's the tough part about assist games is that they, so you can only play one character at a time mm-hmm. and there's going to be an assist roster. Yeah. And so people are kind of nervous that it's like, Oh, reptiles in the game as an assist. And it's like, Oh, they're like, fuck the off. Big, they're like the biggest mortal Kombat roster ever. Yeah. They're like, we got noob and we got reptile and yeah. people like we have the, the, the screen code guy. Yeah. We have mocap. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. And so then, we, we don't know yet. We don't know. Like, we just know that there's in the season pass, they talk about like, you got four new characters and four new assist characters. And it's like, uh Oh, they're separate. 
Also, Rolf. they're hiding characters behind the season pass. They always do. That's what a season pass is. I, DLC a, characters. Like skins. No, not for fighting games. I, never, I don't play fighting games. Well, I'm, I'm already angry enough. Yeah. I, don't, I <laughs> genuinely don't need it. Uh, do you have news? Um, I do. I have two newses. Okay. Um, one is video game news. Uh, Overwatch. You hear I, about that? I've heard. So I've seen some memes of people being like, uh, like Overwatch, like Blizzard is in a competition with like Mojang to see who can do the least with their billions of dollars. But that is literally mm. all I know. So do you remember Overwatch 2 was its existence hinged on the fact that it was going to have PVE content? Yeah, there were like, it's, there's going to be a story. Of it was going to have yeah. a whole campaign. Yeah. Gone. Trash. Trash. Nice. Absolutely trashed. Mm -hmm. The only reason, that's what everyone's freaking out. They're like, why does Overwatch 2 exist then? Because you it's were like... It's just Overwatch 1. It's just Overwatch 1, but like, I think some maps were taken out, and instead of 5v5, it's 4v4, and right? Instead of 6v6, it's, it's 5v5. 5v5. Yeah. Right. So everyone's like, like, what have you been doing? Like, yeah. what, what do Blizzard employees do? Yeah. If not, if I, we thought you've been working on this thing, and also... Have they been? World of Warcraft? Apparently, they were going to work on... Or apparently... They knew they were doing this months ago and just now told people. So they were just like, they're probably like trying to like bury it under something. 100%. They're yeah. just like, oh, like there's big, big news. Let's, let's yeah. get out the fact that we're not doing the thing we said we were going to do. That, that's what happened. They did a stream and like midstream, they're just like, also PVs canned. Why? Sorry. Who knows? Like nobody, uh, well, like apparently it's like, they were like, oh, it would take resources from our PVP team that like we can't afford Blizzard's the most fucking like profitable gaming company ever. They've made like a good like, literal. There was a time when wow gold was worth more than real life currency. Yeah. Like I think it was when Venezuela was in like in a massive, like a <laughs> massive amount of inflation. There was a time where one Venezuelan dollar cost less than, than a to, wow gold, than, than a wow gold. Like wow. Cause you can buy gold. Yeah. It's like an actual currency. Like wow has an economy. Yeah. Like a literal economy yeah. built around it. You don't need anything else. Yeah. Like you can, you can build off the profits that WoW and Diablo have gotten you for generations. Yeah. So it's got to all be fucking like Blizzard. Like it's not the developers. Obviously the developers like didn't want to stop working on all the shit they'd worked on. Mm. Like for some reason, Blizzard's like, no, nah, we like stop doing that. Go make more skins. That's insane. It's wild. But so what's your news? Uh, you said you had two. Uh, my other one is that Trigun is getting the Berserk, uh, like Deluxe Edition treatment. Nice. So it's my like news is that Trigun is getting the Berserk Deluxe Edition. Oh, is it? I have nothing. <laughs> I have absolutely nothing. I have fuck all. That's why I've been on my phone. Nice. I've been struggling to find shit. Nothing. It's that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's just getting uh, a Deluxe Edition in December. It's not that long. It's one. Yeah. One I, Deluxe I, I was Edition. I say it's not that long. Well, there's Trigun and there's Trigun Maxim. Which will get another... Never heard of that. Exists. In a million years, <laughs> yeah. I've never heard of that. It's like that. a sequel series. Hmm. Um, they're getting like just a big ass, like hardcover, uh, supersized pages treatment. Damn. Okay, yeah. cool. Well, that's our news. And we are now going to ask for love letters, which is Woo. the part of the show where me and Danny ask the live chat what they want to hear from us in terms of a question. So if you guys ever want to ask us a question, uh, go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube. It is either $4.99 to be hashtag Team Nick or $5.99 to be hashtag Team Danny. You get to watch the podcast live. You get to watch me and Danny scramble to find an SD card, which is something that you, those of you who are watching the podcast, yeah. unfortunately- this, this episode's like an extra half hour long if yeah. you're on the live. Yeah, because me and Danny have been like scrabbling together <laughs> yeah. today. So it, these are things that you would be privy to if you were watching the podcast, but unfortunately you are not, but you could be. So I'm going to go over to the computer and I'm going to check for love letters. Woo! Love letters. We're, they're letters that say they love us. So the chat asks, what anime trope do you absolutely eat up? I, for all the shit that I give Dragon Ball, uh -huh. I love transformations. But it needs to be a transformation. It can't be a fucking hair dye. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, I love that Nezuko has this crazy horned mode mm -hmm. now. And she, like, grows. Yeah. She gets, like, huge. Yeah. A transformation needs to come with new attacks and shit. You know what I mean? Like, you, yeah. can't, you can't just look different. I need to feel the difference. You know what's funny is I feel like people in Dragon Ball outside of the main cast get better, like, cooler looking power-ups. Like, Piccolo in the most recent movie. Yeah. 
color change, looked different. Gohan, his hair was just massive. Yeah. Like, honestly, I think I think Super Saiyan 3 was really good. Yeah, for I think sure. the OG days when they turned into giant apes was sick. Yeah. Super Saiyan 4 is the best transformation of all time. I don't care what anybody says. Yeah. Uh, and I just don't think like in the new days of Dragon Ball yeah. that we've gotten the level of transformation is that we used to get. They just don't have like, yeah, someone transforms and there isn't like a awesome ultimate move accompanying it. Ultra Instinct had like- Like he's fast, like he, he's just faster. He's fast, it has the cool like, you know, weird like air pockets that punch your enemy. Mm -hmm. So that's something at least, like Super Saiyan Blue, had nothing. Don't yeah. tell me Kaioken Super Saiyan Blue uh, uh, Kamehameha is a new attack. Yeah, it's just... It's just a different color It's Naruto Kamehameha. getting a bigger Rasengan. Yeah, it's exactly. It's ultra big ball Rasengan. It's like, oh, cool, you made, you made it big. Good job, yeah. good job. Yeah, Super Saiyan God, no new attack. Mm -hmm. So it needs that. You know what else is good? What? Um, Shouting the name of an attack. Do you like that? I... So I have I used to love it. Yeah. And I have now lessened on it because mm -hmm. it's very symbolic of shonen. Mm -hmm. And I feel like it doesn't happen now as much. Like, I, I like it when... Here's here's where I like it. Yeah. I like it when a bad guy is like, Maximum Uzumaki. And it just yeah. like... It's like a, like a huge blast attack or something like that. But I don't like... I guess the, the the way I think about it is like Natsu using any attack in fairy tale because Natsu has like three moves. Yeah, and he's like, he's like <laughs> fire punch, fire yeah. kick, fire breath, and it's like every single time it's the same animation. Yeah, and I'm like, can we get a little bit of a shake <laughs> up here? And it's like Naruto. Like I feel like did he always did he abandon saying Rasengan? Genuinely, I I shouldn't be asking you this, but like. I feel, yeah, you're the authority. I, uh, right, but like, I towards the end, I feel like he was just using, no, he was absolutely saying. Yeah. It's like, ultra big ball Rasengan. Well, it needs, it depends on the context, right? Because yeah. I agree, like, there are bad uses of shouting the an the attack name. Like, yeah. One Piece, hey, Sanji, you don't have attacks. Yeah. <laughs> you have 30 different kicks that all have, that all do the same thing. Yeah. Kick. Yeah. And they're all named something different. The only thing Fuck different off. is Diable Jambe, which is when he lights his foot on fire, it then kicks. That's a move. Yeah. That's a new attack. Zoro has Onigiri. Uh -huh. That's an attack. Just cutting a bitch, not an attack. <laughs> yeah. If I came at you and I was like, iron drill fist. Yeah. And just fucking punch you in the mouth. About you, time. Yeah, like you would be like, you didn't do anything new there. That's an uppercut. Yeah, like uh -huh. I can punch you in the mouth. Yeah. But it's like, if, if we're, like, at the apex of a fight, music cuts out, someone just, like, mumbles, like, dragon death cannon. Yeah. Chills. Incredible. Insta chills, yeah. Or, like, like Chidori. Like, yeah, like if, yeah, it's, yeah. if it's, like, spoken, yeah. I love that. Yeah. But, like, screamed, I don't. I don't know why. My favorite trope, I would say, in anime, killing off characters. Oh, I'm yeah. such a sucker for, like, I, losing. I feel like it's not even a trope. I feel like a trope is they almost die. Yeah, I hate death baiting. Oh, I okay, hate death so, baiting. So you this has not become a I like this trope. It's become I hate this trope. No, 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 no. I hate death baiting. Yeah. I love it when they go through and kill characters. Right. Like I love like a brutal anime. Yeah. Like yeah. Uh, Attack on Titan, just like wiping characters off the face of the map. Yeah. Love that. Hell's Paradise does it a little bit. Uh -huh. Um, there was like that number one, a Simon who just gets like smushed. Um, I love a I love a good just like just character that you think you're gonna love just getting wiped out in front of you i adore it i just can't think of any anime that does that with rengoku? like real main cast other than rengoku rengoku is a great kill? one i haven't seen it akami got kill kills the main character okay good yeah that's good i like other than like berserk right here's what i'm using as like an example like, i mean the main trilogy are still kicking well berserk we still got casca and, and guts and but griffith like every other side character Fair. like attack on no titan, the little elf thing he doesn't show up when the killing happens no? I guess, he's yeah, not there fair. every side character up until that point mm -hmm. next oh yeah spoiler but like um like attack on titan i won't say who i guess because it's still kind of newer mm -hmm. but like kills one character everybody else is like like even antagonists refuse to die you know what i mean True, like yeah. i i hate death baiting as well yeah and they never one do piece it. is the worst death baiting show out there i have news about that kind of oh we finally lost one of the straw hats oda the reverse the opposite okay oda has explained why he doesn't kill characters mm -hmm. he goes 
The reason I don't want to draw scenes where people die is because I want to draw a party after the battle. If someone dies, you can't have an enjoyable party. I love SBS. I want a party in my ideal form of friendship. A party is my ideal form of friendship. I want to end with one piece. Yeah, I want to end one piece with a big party. With everyone there. Yeah. Yeah. What a strange man. Why? <laughs> what I, a silly, goofy little goober of a man. <laughs> that's literally how something I watched recently ended. Now I can't remember what it the was. The big party? You know, it was like it was like everybody gets brought back to life. Mm -hmm. And now I can't remember. Oh, I mean, that's kind of Fast X in a nutshell. Kind of, um, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, think, I think that might have been it. Where it's like, they're never dead. Oh, my God. Know? Spoiler for a movie that's not even out. I, we didn't say who didn't die. I guess. Yeah. I don't but know. But no one's ever dead in Fast and Furious, yeah, apparently. Fair. But okay, that's it. Before we spoil any other movies that aren't currently out, guys, thank you so much for listening to Otaku's Anonymous. We're happy to have you here. Uh, episode 19. No idea what we're doing for 20. Probably nothing suggest something special yeah well yeah we'll, we'll think about it or we'll just you know talk about anime like we usually do uh outs, like we sometimes do yeah, sometimes yeah. yeah the half hour of of open opening coldly but you guys love those honestly i think maybe we haven't got any complaints about them recently we don't read that's fair honestly, we haven't asked we don't ego surf yeah we don't ego surf on our own podcast so yeah i mean just tell us what you want us to do for 20 um god knows people are telling me to start planning my 500 my 500,000 like Count. subscriber yeah, thing for yeah. Hammer. like what are you gonna do I, was like, I, don't, I don't know you gotta do something i don't I, do i yeah i definitely like i don't if you it helps do for you a to do something do something for a million it helps you to do something people Why? click on like 500k special well, what is it gonna be like oh god i'd say sasuke is kind i of don't cool know guy. that's your fucking job i just thought of something <laughs> okay good yeah, i thought Easy. i thought of the times where i liked sasuke bingo yeah. 500k special but yes Thank you guys so much for listening. Uh, make sure you go ahead and follow Otaku's Anonymous on TikTok, Instagram, Twitter. Uh, email any questions you have to Otaku's Anonymous podcast at gmail.com. I have been NC Hammer 23, uh, also known as the Weeb Commander. If you copy my content, I will kill you. Uh, and I've been joined by. I have been Socrates. You can find me at your local uh, college, library. Mm. Um, Senators meeting. Yeah, anywhere mm -hmm. where books are sold or thoughts are discussed. Or poison is dispensed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, that's it. Cool. I'm so committed to that bit that I'm not even, not even doing his own socials. <laughs> yeah. It's Danny Mata something. All right. Thank you guys so much for listening. Bye. Bye. Later, bitches. Bye.